Welcome to Science, Health and Healing Library of Children's Health Core. I'm Dr. Majid Ali. The subject of this article is the oxygen model of cancer basics. This is a part of my 15 segment series on the oxygen model of cancer. As you look at more and more segments of this series, you, I hope, will begin to recognize why I have organized the material in such a way to take you at deeper and deeper levels of understanding. This is a crucial subject. In this program, I'm going to give you the nutshell in the simplest possible way. My oxygen model of cancer asserts that disturbances of oxygen homeostasis, metabolism, signaling system, detergent function systems, cellular energy production system, cellular renewal, cellular death. The commonality in all clinical epidemiologic laboratory and biologic aspects of, can of cancer is the oxygen dysfunction. For professionals, I introduced the term disoxygenosis about 15 years ago, and for the general readership, I use the word dysfunctional oxygen metabolism. Here are the core points of the oxygen model of cancer. First, you cannot understand how cancer begins, how it progresses without understanding the basics of oxygen model of cancer. Second, in my judgment, no treatment for cancer should ever be considered adequate or complete without detecting and effectively addressing all oxygen-related aspects in a given person. For example, if a 32-year-old woman fortunately detects an early cancerous lump in her breast, That cancer should be removed with surgery expeditiously, no questions. But then it would be a very serious mistake for this woman to think that since the cancer is out of the way, she is not facing any other risks. It is well known that women who have one cancer have a tendency to have a second cancer. It's well known that people who have one cancer in the body have a tendency, a greater risk of having more cancers in the body. And that's where the oxygen model of cancer comes into the picture. You need to look at and detect and address all oxygen related issues. Now in other segments, I give you evidence for the oxygen model of cancer in humans and experimental animals biochemical studies, epidemiologic studies, clinical studies, and most important, the value of the oxygen protocol, where in many cases this alone gives you better results than surgery, chemotherapy, or radiotherapy. I decided to put this channel on Children's Health Core YouTube Encyclopedia. One of the segments on this series, sadly, is my prediction that there is going to be an epidemic spread of cancer in children in the next 25 years. And this is a subject of a separate program. Children's Health Corps was funded and founded by Talat, my wife and I, some years ago. Our mission and vision is to provide authentic information for the health of children all over the world, focusing on issues of foods, environments, and thoughts. Please visit our website, kids123.org. There is a large body of information that you will find useful. 
Thank you for joining me. Until we meet again, may you be gracious, graceful, and generous in your spirit. Thank you.